What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Instant Pot Duo Evo Plus. And today for you guys, I'm going to sous vide the steak. Now I've done a sous vide steak before, but I have a I, I did it in my Dash sous vide machine. So it's like a dedicated sous vide thingy. So I've never done it in like a pressure cooker before. So this should be interesting. But let me show you what I did to season up my steak. Alright guys, this is my steak. Um, it's 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Saturday night. just want to show you what I seasoned it with. We're going to do a Doug style. Of course, we got What's Your Sister's Social. And of course, my go-to pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. And by the way, for those who want to know, this is a little over one pound of a steak. All right, guys, fresh out my vacuum sealer. Um, we're going to just throw this in the refrigerator until we're ready to sous vide it tomorrow. So 13, 14 hours later, I just popped it out the refrigerator. So now we are ready to go. Um, so my question to myself is, we're going to see if it needs to be weighted down because this may float to the top. But although this is pretty heavy, so I think this should be good. But if you were doing something that was maybe smaller or lighter, you might consider getting one of these and putting like a, me uh, like a metal fork or spoon in there to, to help weight it down. I don't think I'll need it, but if I do, I have it. So anyway... In the description, I'll put a um, link to the Instant Pot lid. If you don't have one, you can, of course, use the lid that the Instant Pot comes with, but this is just so much better. I'm going to fill this up with some warm water uh, so it can um, get to temperature faster. Okay, guys, I filled it to just shy of the halfway line. Um, I read the manual. It wasn't much help, so <laughs> we're on our own. Take one for the team, guys. You know what, before we even begin, I'm going to just test it and just put it in and see if it stays down. Let's see. Yeah, it stays down. Cool. Alright. So I'll take that out and we'll get it to the temperature and we'll be good to go. Put my cover back on for good luck. <laughs> Shout out to Leanne and the rest of my Kitchen Gadgets group for encouraging me to show you guys this so we're gonna go with this setting so I'm gonna I guess go with custom and Leanne tells me I should do 144 for two hours so alright so I guess I hit start Alright, so I'm waiting for it to preheat, so once it gets to that, I'll go ahead and add the steak. Now guys, while this is going, I've heard from men, see I'm not a person that loves steaks like that. Like, if, Let's say if I had a wife that was like a chef or something, she just cooked every day. I can't imagine me asking her to make me a steak more than once every two months. You know what I'm saying? So, for steak lovers, you got to try this out because it's just so tender, especially if you like it, you know, um, you know, medium rare or like that, you know, with, with the pink showing and it. It, it cooks it to perfection. It's soft. It's tender. It's like restaurant quality. And so all I'm going to do after this is I'm going to um, throw it on my grill, my indoor grill, and... Um, you know, just grill it for like 30 seconds aside, sear it 30 seconds aside, and that's it. We'll be done. All right, we're getting there. We're up to three bars now. All right. So we are ready. So let me go ahead and get my steak in there. All right, let's get it in there. Get something to poke it down. All 
All right. Be back in two hours. I figure I'll go get my truck washed, get some, uh, get some wine from the supermarket, some beer. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, guys, we got about 16 minutes left, so I'm going to go ahead and prepare the rest of my meal. This is my Instant Pot Mini, y'all. I got some low-carb elbows in there, just finished, five minutes. And this is my Kitchen HQ Grill and Griddle. I'm going to do some green beans, and then I'm going to finish off the steak on the um, changing out the, um, and putting in the grill plate. Add some avocado oil. grill plate. I'm going to bump it up to the max. Alright guys, we are done. And so what we're going to do is, uh, well let's go ahead and cancel. Um, we're going to take it out. We're going to cut it open, pat it dry. Um, and then we're going to sear it for what, 30-40 seconds each side. And this, my steak should be done to perfection. This is what it looks like, so we're gonna take it out. All right, guys, this is what we're looking like. So make sure when you take your uh, sous vide steak out, make sure it's at least 144, do a meat temp on it, and it should be that, and then you're good to go. We're gonna sear this, um, again, like for 30 seconds aside. I'm gonna add some um, Flavor Guide Everything Spicy to mine, because I'm good like that. I'm going to add it to both sides. All right. All right, guys, this is what we're looking like. I went ahead and did about 45 seconds aside because um, my kitchen HQ only goes up to 460. So I noticed everybody else that I've seen sear it, they were doing it at a, a higher temperature than that. So I gave it a little longer. But we're done. Smells fantastic, guys. Look at the other side, y'all. This is perfect for me guys because this is the pinkest you're going to see me eat it. But one thing I can tell you, this thing is juicy, it's tender, flavorful. You guys got to try it. You steak lovers out there definitely got to try this. You'll eat it like this all the time. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook. Y'all have a sip. That's some sangria, y'all. Well, I'm ready to eat, guys. So let's have some of this. You got it? Mm-hmm. 
Very good. Very juicy. Very flavorful. Oh yeah. Some of you have some with some green beans. Got it? Mm. Guys, if you're going to um, sous vide for the first time, I would definitely do, a, like if I could do this again, I would do a ribeye. Those are a little easier for beginners like myself. But this came out good. And again, like I said, if you like steaks, you got to try it out this way. The flavor is just so good. My mac and cheese the bomb. This is low carb mac and cheese, guys. It's good. Have some. Mm. So anywho, I just took one for the team. I say go ahead and try it. Dip some in there. Go ahead and try it yourself and see how you like it. It's just it's like a different steak, man. It's it's just so tender inside, so juicy. And the flavor just come popping out at you. Mm. Man, I must be hungry. I can't stop eating. All right, this is the last one. Get that mac and cheese, y'all. It's low carb, so eat. just eat it all. Don't worry about it. No worries. <laughs> mm. Bomb.com. Link will be in the description to my low carb elbows. So anyway, guys, that was fun. And like I said, definitely try this. For yourself um, there's plenty of videos out there on how to sous vide and stuff like that steaks plenty of them so guys anyway <clears throat> i want to leave a link in the description to my uh pressure cooker group it's called pressure cooking with doug no matter what type of pressure cooker you have whether it be an instant pot a kasori go wise um ninja foodie doesn't matter we like to see what you're making in your pressure cooker or in this case, sous vide in your pressure cooker if you have this particular um, Instant Pot. Also, I would like to mention that I do have a low-carb uh, Facebook group it's called Lower Carb Nation. If you're on a lower-carb diet or, should, like I said, like I always say, a lower-carb lower lifestyle, because it's more of a lifestyle for me, definitely join my group. I'd love to see what you're making. And if you need some ideas, join my group, scroll down, and... Get inspired. Link will be in the description to that. And also, if you have an Instagram, look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Doug. But that's all I got. Just having fun with my new Instant Pot. I'm probably going to do two more videos, one or two more videos. And then this will go on top of my uh, cabinet. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not a pothead. But real, recognized, real. And that, to me, like I said, and I'm not backing down what I said. This is the best standalone pressure cooker. I'm not saying this is the best um, multi-tax pressure cooker, but the best standalone pressure cooker is right here. I'll put a link in the description and right now it's got an $18 off uh, coupon with it on Amazon on my link and um, definitely if you're thinking about buying it, this is a great time to buy it. I bought it the other day. It was like $108. So don't be afraid of success guys because maybe for Black Friday this might be already gone. So get it now. Link will be in the description. Anyway, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.